one eyed small kick. And I like my labour tender. Tender. I like my labour tenderised and flexible. Flexible. Flexible and tender. I like my labour tenderised. Work long and die soon. Work long and die soon. Know your place. Where's the cultural regulator? Why don't you know your place? Why are you all so hard and grisly? Why are you so grisly? You need to be tenderised. Where's the cultural regulator? Where's Professor Poodlebeard? Hello! My name is Professor Poodlebeard. And I'm the cultural regulator. That's really cool. And my job is swinging cultural regulation to ensure the pyramid of meritocracy remains a beacon of desire for all. We need a teeny surplus and one eye of discernment. And to explain that, I've got a simplified diagram. There are two very complex diagrams with complex ideas which you won't be able to understand unless you attend my uh, university course, which will cost you £8,000 per month. Since you can't afford that, I've got a simplified version. So you can understand the concept of the eye of discernment. Because of the necessary exploitation to maintain this wonderful culture, which is brought us Wagner, we need the eye of discernment. The eye is able to look the eye is able to look at the social body. Now, just as in nature, the social body must be traumatised. And there is trauma and exploitation, of course. Of course people must starve. And a few people must be uh, damaged by bombs. That's okay. But how do we deal with this trauma? How do we deal with it? I understand that you, many of you might be artists, and many of you must be upset when you turn on the news and you see mountains of grain in India piling up and people starving around the corner. It's upsetting, I know. We have to be able to look at this trauma. Now, a few of you can become, only a few, the eye of the stone. And that eye is able to translate this and transfer it to what is called a micro-utopia. This is a place where people can come and contemplate, a temple. And here we have films of people that have been traumatised. But you must not feel that you're the same as them. That's very important. So, we put these images in a space like a gallery here. This is the sun, and this is Mercury, and this is Venus, and this is Jupiter, and the planets go round in a great big cosmic plane, and nothing changes. And people can see the pathos, and they can weep and cry as people starve, and as people mutilate it. It's very tragic. So we need this catharsis. <laughs> and to give you an example of why, I've got an example here of a degenerate artist. 
She says, Stan, Stan is 78 years old. And he thinks he can draw. Hello, Professor Bundlebeard. I'm 70 years old. And I'll just make this drawing. What makes you think you can do that? I was working on the underground as a railman all my life. So I did the fucking station, haven't you? Let me see what you've done and I'll criticise it for you. Oh, Professor, it's a drawing of when I was working on the platform at Houston Station. And this guy got off the train and he queued up all over the platform and there was this stinking smelly vomit. It was so smelly that I felt like I wanted to be sick myself. And I asked the station master and I said, can I go on? And he just kept shouting at me. I've never seen anyone go so far pushing all their life. He wouldn't let me go on. Now, do you want art like that? Rubbish. That's right, this. this is why we need criticism. We need the inoculation of radical theory. Otherwise, idiots like this will take it literally. my labour tender. Nice and tender and flexible. Work long, die soon. Capital is dead labour that vampire-like lives the more it sucks on living labour. You suck, suck sex, suck sex, yeah. suck 